Hey guys, welcome to this new video. My name is Aditya and on this channel I talk about Kubernetes, blockchain and software in general. And in today's video we are going to take a look how we can monitor our applications with the help of service monitor and pod monitors. And these service monitor and pod monitors, these are the custom resources that are available in the Prometheus operator. So in last couple of videos we saw how to set up Prometheus with the help of Prometheus operator. And in today's video we are going to monitor our applications with the help of service monitor and pod monitors. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here I'm in my Kubernetes development repository and you can see that I have a folder with name monitoring and here I have a folder with name Prometheus and inside that we have a folder with name setup. So this setup folder contains the custom resource definitions for Prometheus and alert manager. And what we'll do, we will just quickly set up the Prometheus and then we should be able to start with the service monitor part. So let me uh, move to my terminal and let me just go to the right directory. And here I can just apply that whatever there is in the setup folder. Let me see if my cluster is running or not. Okay, so let me quickly create a cluster. So I'm going to use kind to create a cluster. Okay, so the cluster creation is done. Now we can just apply those uh, CRDs that are there in the set directory. Yep, we are done with this and now let's quickly install the Prometheus. So I'll do simply apply whatever there is in this Prometheus directory. Okay, so uh, Prometheus is up and running and we can just do get pods in all namespaces so that we can see Prometheus as well and we can see that Prometheus is coming up you can see here that Prometheus is initializing let's try it again yep, so it will take some time to initialize but once this is done uh, we should be able to start with the service monitor part so meanwhile the Prometheus is coming up let me give you an idea like what from service monitors are so basically a service monitor is a way to monitor our Kubernetes services and these community services are somehow linked to the pods or deployments or 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 even a stateful sets as well. So Prometheus is going to use uh, uh, Prometheus is going to connect to that service monitor, and the service monitor has the details of uh, how to extract the metrics from that particular service, and then service is going to get those metrics from the uh, from that underneath pod itself, right? So uh, let me show you the definition, like how a service monitor looks like. So I have a folder with name service monitor and uh, here I have a deployment and this deployment is nothing, just a, a, a basic deployment with mul replica. And the image that I'm using here is fab uh, XC instrumented app. So this is an application which has some uh, Prometheus, uh, which, is, which is already configured with the Prometheus and uh, I am using this container port as 8080 because this application is running on 8080 port. And then we have the service. So service is uh, exposed on port 80 and internally it is pointing to port 8080 of the our port. So here you can see the selector is app application. And in the deployment as well, we should be able to see the label as app application, right? So this is this is, so far this is good like we we are just dealing with the basic deployment and the service part right but uh, when we take a look on the service monitor so service monitor uh, in the service monitor we have to configure a uh, few of the parameters so first thing is the kind so kind should be service monitor so that prometheus can recognize it as a service monitor and it can basically take the actions on the top of it and then the second important part is the selector part in the selector part, we specify the labels of our Kubernetes service. So here you can see the type is my service and the same label should be present in our Kubernetes service as well. Let me just go to the service and here in the label section, you can see that the type is configured as my service. So 
uh, this way like service monitor is kind of binded to our Kubernetes service and in the endpoint section we basically define like on what port uh, we have to the service monitor has to get the metrics from and then we are defining the interval like at which uh, interval it should pull up the metrics so every 30 seconds it's going to pull the metrics from the Kubernetes service or with the help of Kubernetes service so here you can see the port port is uh, given as web and here you have to give the port name not the actual port so if we go to service here you can see that the name is given as web so you have to configure the same name here as well in the service monitor and one more thing i would like to you know highlight here uh, in the in the in the metadata part like uh, if your prometheus uh, release is having some specific selector for the service monitor then you have to provide those selectors here or those levels here and what I meant by this is, let me you know uh, quickly describe you the uh, Prometheus operator, like uh, how it is configured, and from there we should be able to see that. So let me just you do kubectl describe, and it's in the monitoring namespace, and I think it's Prometheus. I think this is that one. So here you can see uh, this is the definition. Let me you know expand this a bit, and let's take the YAML format of it so that we can understand it better. Okay, I think this should be good. So here uh, you can see that this is a service monitor selector. Or let me let me just you know get this done. We get in the monitoring namespace. And then it's Prometheus, and I want the uh, YAML output of it. So here you can see this is the YAML representation of our Prometheus instance, and uh, here we can see that this is the namespace selector. So if you configure certain namespaces here, then it should be uh, service monitor like this. Prometheus will scrape the service monitor available in those particular namespace only. So right now we have uh, we have not configured any namespace yet, so it is going to look for all the namespaces for the service monitor. And the second thing is this service monitor selector. So this is the part where you can define certain labels, and this instance will only going to look for those service monitor which has those labels present here. So let's say you define some label, let's say uh, team is equal to let's say front end, then you have to define those labels here in the metadata as well. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, we are good with this. So uh, now let's quickly deploy the service monitor. And uh, we have to deploy the deployment, the service and the service monitor. So let me just quickly deploy all of them. And first we'll deploy the deployment. Okay, let's go to the service monitor directory first. to deployment first okay deployment is getting created let's do the uh, service as well so service is also created let's verify this key get so we can see uh, deployment is there and uh, the service is also there uh, let's wait for the deployment to uh, be ready and after that we can deploy our service monitor so let's do key apply and then this time it should be service monitor okay so now this is uh, so now the service monitor is also created now let's uh, port let me just port forward my prometheus service so that we can see that uh, if it is getting the metrics or not and let me do one more thing let me open my lens id so that we can see uh, uh, what is the endpoint for uh, uh, for the metrics or what all metrics we are getting? Yep, so this is my lens ID and uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to pods and see. Uh, we can see that the, uh, our deployment is running fine. And let me just go inside this so that we can see uh, at what endpoint we are getting the metrics. So basically, we will be doing a curl uh, over. Uh, port 8080 because this application is internally running on port 8080 
and we'll see the metric. So let me just do curl here. Curl on local host. And then slash matrix. So this is the endpoint over which we will receive the matrix. And here you can see that we have a bunch of metrics, and these same metrics should be available in the Prometheus as well. So let me just do port forwarding here. Uh, let me do the port forwarding here. K okay, port forward. And I need to open my browser as well on this port 9090. So I'm in my browser and let me just open this port 9090. And here in the status part, we have a option of service discovery. So let's get to the service discovery and see if our service monitor is registered here or not. So if we go to service monitor, uh, uh, service discovery, we can see that we have one service monitor, which is in the default namespace. And this was the name of our service monitor, which was app example. And it is able to find the targets as well. Like we can see, it is able to reach to that, uh, uh, reach to that underneath pod as well. And if we go to the, you know, target section here, we should be able to see our target here as well. So we can see that the target is present here. This is this is the target which is uh, binded to that particular service. Now uh, let's go to the graph section and let's see uh, if we get the metrics here or not. So let me open this lens ID and let's randomly take any uh, metric. Let, let's just take this one, this metric, which is HTTP response byte. And here, let's go to here and uh, let's see if we get the record for this as well. Yep, so we can see we are getting the records, we are getting the data here. And let's similarly do one more thing. Let's check for any other metrics as well. Let's see for this one, which is HTTP request total. Let me copy this one and let's put this here. We are getting metrics here as well. And you can anyway do the uh, filtering based on the labels that are here, like based on the code. So let's say you want to look for uh, only 200 codes. So and you can basically uh, execute this query. So it will give you the response for 200 uh, code only, like the with value as 200. Okay. So this was uh, what we have to you know explore on the service monitor. But similar way, like uh, we have the pod monitor as well, which basically which basically directly listens on the pods. And uh, let me show you the configuration, like how the pod monitor looks like. So this is the configuration, like how our pod monitors look. And again, the kind here is going to be pod monitor. And then you define the name of your pod monitor. And this is the important part where you define the selector, like on which pod it has to uh, listen or, or, or attached. So if we go to, you know, our deployment, and right now here you can see the match labels is given as app or an application. And the same should be present in our pod as well. So if we go to, Deployment here we can see that the match label is uh, application uh, app colon application and the same should be present in the pod monitor so that pod monitor is now able to reach to that particular pod and then here we have to give the pod monitor uh, pod matrix endpoint basically here we have to define the port uh, like on which port it has to scrape the matrix so if we go to deployment here you can see that I have already given the name as web. And the same should be reflected here as well in your pod monitor. So let me do this thing. Let me just quickly delete uh, the service monitor so that Prometheus is not uh, dis using the service monitor to scrape the metrics. And then we will see the pod monitor. And again, let me, you know, uh, one more thing. Uh, let me just show you the, the, the configuration for this pod monitor in our Prometheus. So let me go to all namespace and here. Let me just edit this so that I can show you what I was talking about. So in the specs section, we should have one property uh, for the pod monitor as well, similar to what we had in the for the service monitor. Like for the service monitor, we saw these two properties like service monitor namespace selector and the service monitor selector. Basically, this is the place where you define the namespaces over which this Prometheus instance has to look for a service monitor. And this is the labels like uh, on which it has to basically select the service monitors. Similar kind of configuration is there for the pod monitors as well. Like here you can see the pod monitor namespace selector, which basically means that if you'll specify any value here, then or any namespace here, then Prometheus is only going to scrape those particular namespaces only. 
and for the namespace select for this pod monitor select here you give the labels and uh, any pod monitor which has those labels defined then promise is going, only going to pick those labels uh, yep. so this this was the important part that i wanted to show you here and now let's quickly delete the service monitor and uh, deploy this pod monitor let me open my terminal again let me split this one Let me delete uh, the service monitor. So service monitor is deleted and if we go to Prometheus, we should be able to see that it is not getting affected here. Let's go to status in the service discovery and this should be, you know, uh, gone in a couple of seconds. So let's wait for it to uh, get removed from here. Okay, so meanwhile, this is, this is disappearing. Let's uh, quickly deploy our pod monitor and uh, it, the pod monitor should you know come up here so let's go to here and apply the pod monitor so the pod monitor is deployed and in couple of minutes it should be here so one more thing if your service monitor is not appearing up here then probably the uh, the possible reason for it could be that you have not configured the uh, basically you are you are not matching up these rules that I showed you like the namespace select and the service monitor labels these two things uh, you have to properly configure only then your service monitor is going to be detected by the Prometheus so you have to make sure that you are uh, good with these two properties and same goes for the pod monitor as well like if your pod monitor is not appearing up here then the reason could be that these two things are not configured properly. So let's see if our pod monitor is there or not. So we can see that the pod monitor is here and the service monitor is now uh, disappeared. And again, we can see that the target is uh, available here. Let's go to the target section and we can see that the target is listed here. Now uh, let's do one more thing. Let's try to run the same query here, uh, which was HTTP request total and uh, we can see that again we are getting up the metrics so uh, which means that the pod monitor is also working fine and uh, we can we, we, we can basically look all the available metrics as well from the uh, from that pod yeah so this is what i wanted to discuss in this video and uh, hope you like this video and if you did like this video then you already know that to like please like and subscribe to the channel and you can also follow me on twitter and linkedin as well so link for both of them you can find in the description and again, the source code is also present in the video description. So feel free to check that out and start the repository. And I'll do the next one.